Hey, what is up all my biscuit brethren? I'm back on the video and today is going to be why Golden State Warriors pretty much already have the 2018 NBA Finals all locked up. And what I mean by locked up, I mean they probably already won it. You know, it might be like, dude, that's impossible. It's still 2017. How, they, how do they win the 2017? Hear me out. And listen to me speak unless you don't like to hear me speak and you want me to be upset. Then leave a dislike on the video if you don't like me. Because then if you do, I'm willing to kill myself. I'm obviously kidding. But if you do like it up to this point, the like button. You know, I just sold out like every other YouTuber on this platform. Hit those, hit the like button before you watch the video. <laughs> no, I'm not like that. Just, I mean, but if you're feeling generous, then yeah, you can do it. And I mean, I won't complain. But yeah, I, I'm sorry, I just sold out and I'm getting off topic. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Blah. Something that actually caught me off guard and I didn't think would be a huge factor for the Warriors this year is the free agency because you would think with Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, and Kevin Durant on the same team, they would probably not have much cap space, right? Well, wrong. Because in free agency, they were able to get Nick Young. You might be like, well, he's alright, but he's not going to make him much of a difference against the Cavs, even though the Cavs bench is terrible, so he will make a huge difference. He... By himself last year, obviously by himself. Whose else stats would these be? I, I'm sorry, I'm retarded. But anyway, he averaged one assist per game. Remote. Well, that's terrible. But he averaged 11 point. I mean, 11.9 points per game. Pretty much 12 points per game. You know, my well, that's not great. But I mean, that coming off the bench would be huge. Plus, no, there would be no pressure on him because I mean, he has Stephen Curry. He's just gonna be able to take threes, and that's what he's good at. And they only signed him for a one year and 5.2 million dollars. So they barely spent any money on him. And the reason this is good is because he brings energy, and I mean tons of energy to this thing. Like, the dude's like freaking negative and positive, like energy. I mean, that was a stupid analogy, I'm sorry. But also, he can go on three point streaks that like most people cannot do. Like, he can hit like 10 threes in a row, for example, and just and just go off. And But then another time, too, miss like 18 threes, get mad, and then like, you know, cheat on his girlfriend. Um, That was a, that was a mean, I'm sorry. And also, the biggest part for agency, probably better than Nick Young and bigger than Nick Young, they were able to bring back the defensive powerhouse that is Andre Iguodala. Iggy, which I will be calling him from now on. They were able to sign him with a contract of four years and $48 million. And a lot of people didn't think he was going to come back. I didn't think he was going to come back. I was hoping he would go to the Pelicans. But nope. What did we get in free agency? Rajon Rondo. <laughs> but better <laughs> not really anyway so his stats for last season and in his career was 4.5 assists per game 1.6 steal per game and 13 points per game just remember though that was all off of the bench and now he has nick young to help score he the defense is going to be a lot better this year and i mean that's off the bench could you imagine him starting like he had four assists a game one still a game and 13 points a game off the bench even though he gets a lot of minutes off the bench but still that's off the bench like, and this is, like, this is all of the bench. Like, this bench is so much better than the whatchamacallums, you know? <laughs> the Cavs, the Cleveland Who's, I don't know. The Cleveland LeBrons, because, you I know, mean, everybody else on that team is trash. Anyway, but pretty much, they brought back a two-time All-Star. I mean, two-time All-Defensive. I'm sorry, I cannot read. And a one-time All-Star. So, like... Their bench is stacked, and they also have Sean Livingston, who is a really good backup point guard, and they also have the rookie Patrick McCall, but he probably played two, maybe like a little bit of third string one, but you know, probably more two. But anyway, their bench is stacked, and they were able to bring back a huge piece in Andre Iguodala and getting a huge piece in Nick Young, and that is actually huge. I might not think it's huge, but trust me, that will help them win the finals by a ton. So anyway, guys, that's it for this first topic. Now let me get into the second topic. Believe it or not, there's three. I can count three. One, two, three. I know I'm talented. But anyway, let's get into the next topic. The second reason is Kevin Durant. And y'all might be asking, well, how are they able to bring back Nick Young? Like, their cap space must be, they must be $10 billion over the luxury tax. Well, actually, no, because the reason they were able to do all this is because Kevin Durant, instead of taking the $45 million, which would have still been a $20 million pay cut, he took $25 million. Like, he took $25 million on a four-year contract. So he's barely making anything. I mean, that's a ton of money, don't get me wrong. But for what he should be making, he should be getting a max contract, but just to keep the team together and make them better so they can win a championship, he took $4.5 million. And this helps because this shows that Kevin Durant is a win now. Like, he's in there for win now. He wants as many championships as possible, even though they don't count because he's with the Warriors. I'm, I'm sorry, that was a bad joke. Also, don't get triggered, all my Warrior fans. Also, this is showing that, like, 
he's trying to help a team instead of leave them and snake out his best friend like he did once. So he learned from his mistakes. And he's trying to clear his name probably, but still, you know, he, he really helps his team. And the third and final reason is because, well, they have the best starters in the NBA, if possibly the NBA history, as they have Stephen Curry. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He only averages 6 points, 8 assists per game, 1.8 steals per game, and 22.8 points per game. Then you have Clay Thompson. And, you know, 2.3 assists per game. You know, only 0.9 steals per game, but that's because he's an offensive player. And 19.1 steals per game. The dude's a beast on offense because he's, like, better than Stephen Curry. I'm kidding. And Draymond Green, has he averaged 4.1 assists per game, 1.4 steals per game, and not only 9 points per game. He He's better than what his stats show. I don't know why his stats are so bad, but he's better than his stats show. And then Kevin Durant, he's, he's all right, you know. He only averages 3.8 assists per game, 1.2 steals per game and only 27.2 points per game but the biggest player on their roster the best player Zaza Pachulia I'm just kidding I didn't even look up his stats it should really be the starting four because Zaza does not help at all but anyway guys that was my three reasons why the Golden State Warriors already have the championship locked up in a box in a vault deep down the Cavs are trying to dig there but I doubt it happened because they're with there's plastic shovels and spoons that's how they're gonna get there and that was a terrible analogy as well god I'm terrible with analogies but anyway guys and before you say well he's just a good thing no I'm for the Pelicans I despise Golden State and I despise Kevin Durant but you kind of have to look at a fact <laughs> and uh, if you look at the fact we don't stand a chance and neither does the whole NBA so, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you liked it. Remember, kids, stay safe and always wear your seatbelt. And also, remember, don't do your vegetables and always eat your drugs. Anyway, guys, that's it. Goodbye.